Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to do a the week ahead spread for uh, August 3rd through 9th. Um, that's one week. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to try out a new spread that I came across for um, looking into energies for the week ahead. So I want to see if I can give everyone... And this is a general read. I'm, I'm not going to do by astrological signs. Um, so it may not resonate with everyone. I wouldn't expect it to. But... Sorry, I love these cards. Can't shuffle them. So this is the week ahead. August 3rd through 9th. So let's and I'm just gonna do since I have such an awful time shuffling these cards I'm just gonna pull them randomly and there we go set these aside. Where am I going to set them aside? I've got so little space. There we go. Okay. Try to keep everything in frame. They're very big cards, but they're so pretty. Oh, my cloth is all. So, let's see. I'm going to put you over here. So the week as a whole. Ah! What a good card. Fool. So, starting new new things, new adventures, new, 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 new. Um, the thing to understand with the Fool card is that um, you're starting off on a new path because you know everything you need to go on this new adventure. Uh, but where you are is no longer, usually, no longer satisfying. That's why you tend to go off. Um, but you do embody everything you need. So don't let, uh, well, delays of I don't have this, I don't have that. If you have the urge to start something new, start it. You have everything you need to go and you just need to start along the way. There probably will be problems, um, but the only way to solve those problems is to first encounter the, the problem, right? Let's see. Next we have what's going to be unexpected. Oh, the King of Earth will be unexpected, which that's usually uh, the card of uh, accomplishment and enjoying that which you've earned, the fruits of your labor, which uh, would be unexpected, right? Because, I mean, if you're just starting off on something new, expect, I guess, very quick uh, acknowledgement if you're on the right track, because you will start seeing the rewards of uh, the talents that you've already honed. If you start using them, you should see active results. And then we want to stay, how to stay balanced and grounded? Well, look at that. The emperor, isn't he just the very epitome of balanced and grounded? Uh, four, which is, you know, a balanced number. He is all about the domain, ruling and keeping things in order. So how to stay balanced and grounded is, well, keep things organized. Everything has a place and everything in its place. You know, don't um, follow the rules, if you will, uh, or know where not to. Or know the rules well enough to know where not to, but the thing is, is to keep everything balanced and grounded. Don't get too... In fact, here, you've got your unexpected king of earth. He's also very grounded. He's sitting there meditating. Even though the fool is off, you know, not paying attention to where they're walking, just because you don't know where you're walking doesn't mean that internally you're grounded. One way to stay grounded, stay organized. Okay, and then we've got the important emotion. Oh man, this keeps coming up. So, um, 
a malaise is the best word. Every time the Four of Cups, I just think malaise. I think, you know, the the summer break blahs. You've got nothing to do, so you're bored. And in this time, that makes sense, right? We're um, being cooped up. We are either green or not a green. Everybody seems to not uh, be on the same page. Uh, you know, there's just a lot out there just to make you just so done. I'm so done with it. Um, so that's going to come up and it's expected. Uh, what the Four of Cups usually also indicates that is when that comes up, maybe you, with the most minuscule amount of energy, you can turn your attention in a different direction and find a whole lot of things that are right there within reach that would change how you feel, make you feel better, make you feel happy, make you feel not bored, if nothing else. Um, so the emotion to, to be aware of and how you will react to it is this malaise, right? So what will inspire us? The Five of Earth. Mm. So the Five of Pentacles is an interesting card. And usually it shows um, lack or being excluded. And here in this card, we sh it shows this, uh, and I'm trying to remember the word, a dryad, I believe? Nyad? Basically, a, a earth elemental fairy, usually a tree uh, being, taking care of an animal that is hurt. Um, both which probably would be excluded from one or the other. Uh, and this animal being excluded from the others because he's not healthy. She's not healthy. I can't tell. Um, because it's not healthy, it's excluded. And someone who probably has a very solitary life is helping them. So the Five of Pentacles, seeing those, seeing those helping others is what I'm, I'm, I'm reading from this. So an inspiration for the week um, is, especially those that may be less fortunate than you or those that you believe are less fortunate. They may not be. It could just be your point of view makes you feel like that. Um, helping each other to a place, um, to make the place better, more tolerable, less uncomfortable. Uh, and all that takes is, a, I, I want to say human kindness, but the reality right now is shows how unkind humans can be and maybe we need to find somebody who inspires us that that isn't true. Okay, now how will the spirit guides speak to you this week? Queen of Water. Look at her. Isn't that just an a a that image these is that part of her? These kind of tail, wing, I'm, I, I, I love this because I can't figure it out if it's her clothes, smoke, or actually a dragon-like animal behind her. Um, spirit guides will speak to you through your emotions, basically. Uh, but you'll have to be quiet um, to be receiving of your spirit guides. Uh, y you have to be quiet so you can hear them. It's not necessarily something that you're that they'll be actively be hitting you over the head. You will need to be quiet to hear them and you'll feel it through your emotions. And how best can we support ourselves this week? Ah, the night of air. Exercising our intellect. Which remember here the emotions you're going to feel, it's a watery card and um, our spirit guides are going to be through our emotions. So to support yourself is to balance the water with thought. And in fact, we've got earth, 
and water. That's earthy. And fire, definitely fire. We've got a lot of earth and water. It's nice to get some air in here. Otherwise, things will stagnate. You gotta get air into the mix. But your knight of air, look at me, isn't he just magnificent with those wings? Or she? It? I don't think it matters on the he, she. Um, but using your intellect, the power of your intellect to cut through your emotions, uh, cut through and analyze your passions to make sure your passion to go and try to do something new. Challenge yourself. Be your own devil's advocate. You know, that's the best way I always think about this card is devil's advocate. Think of the best reasons why you shouldn't or should. Both sides. And then if you organize, remember, you got your emperor here. He wants you to stay organized. So you can stay grounded and organized and uh, you can support yourself by actually being your own worst enemy. I know that sounds weird. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> you can be your, um, be your own counter advocate, if you will. See both sides and that way if you are better able to handle your own uh, naysayers. If you've already gone through all the pros and cons of whatever you're trying to do and come up with your answers as to why or why not it matters, anybody who tries to naysay you already have an answer and they cannot take you down. You cannot end up in a malaise because somebody didn't like it um, or somebody said something bad. You've already figured out the answer to that and that's not going to get in the way. You won't let your emotions drag you down. You will see, no, I am ready. I have all this stuff already within me. These are the cups that you've already earned and filled and you have that information. You're ready for this new process. It's going to bring you um, accolades, money, something to make you feel secure, you're going to stay organized and balanced in order to keep that running, right? You, If you need any spirit guide help, you need to quiet your emotions to bring that in, and that's part of here. Your malaise could be your big cloud. Um, for inspiration, look for others helping others. Um, see people who are excluded and maybe come up with a way of how um, they should be included. So there you go. Um, I want to pull another card on this feeling here because it keeps coming up in my, my readings and oh that one? The moon. <laughs> so it could just be some lunacy. Haha. -ha. Um, you know, it's the water, but beware of what's below and above. Just don't get caught in it. She's a mermaid. She's swimming around in it. But it's cyclical, right? So the best thing uh, to realize when you get caught up in this it'll go away. And if you want to get out of it sooner, have a drink. <laughs> as long, well, you know, choose your beverages wisely. So there you go. The week of August 3rd through 9th. Um, tell me what you think. Do you like it? Don't you like it? Um, this was actually, I'm really enjoying these cards. I can't wait to use them more. Contact me if you'd like me to do your cards. Thank you. Bye.